Okay. So he has a he has two rubies and two golds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. So you have an unplayable queen, but that's fine. An unplayable two cost queen. Um All right. Yeah, the promoted knight, super strong. Uh, I, I do want to keep my king back. All right. Um. I don't know. The ruby is protecting the bronze. And the ruby's also attacking the knight. Okay, I just need to play moves and hope that they're not blockers. <laughs> Typical chess gaming. You know, play moves, hope they're not blunders. I'm just gonna skip, I guess. Okay, this forces the king to move back. Not, not sure how helpful that is, but, you know, it might be helpful. Okay, if I can... If I can find a way to get a double attack on this iron for, like, next turn, that would be... Yeah, like, nothing's defending it, so I'd be able to capture it for free. Uh, actually, I can just place a bishop here. Yeah, the gold's not defended except by the king, so I just... You know, I just get I just get in there and yeah freebie and then do I just uh, <laughs> repeatedly check the king and hope for the best all right none uh, are any of these pieces undefended no In that case, uh, just place a queen and hope for the best. Uh, so the ruby is like a rook plus, since it's backwards movement doesn't really matter right now. Oh, this square back here is not protected. But all of these pieces are protected by something. You know what? I'll just check him like this and see what happens. Yeah, so he blocks a check. No surprise. Uh... Yeah, I, if I check on, if I check with the knight on f8, then the shogun will just block the attack on the back rank and then move to e8, and then actually, then my knight moves to g6. Okay, I think I think I have something good going on here. All right. Um... Okay, I, th I, I was like, oh, he's going to place a piece on d8 and then hide on e8. I'm glad he didn't place uh, something that would be threatening my queen right now. Okay. Uh, we just keep checking, I guess. I don't know. This is a safe check. At least for now. And I think that's checkmate. Uh, no, it's not. But it's really close. Okay. Oh, it... No, it, okay, whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Just put down another knight, I guess? Oh, I failed the <laughs> optional objective. Okay, that's fine. 
Rest in peace, optional objective. Well, now if I put the king in checkmate, then my queen loses it. So I have to... Okay, if I just move the queen... Yeah, just constantly put the enemy in check. And, you know, just never give them a chance to make any threats. Um, I'll just put the queen here, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I can't, like, pin anything, or I, I don't have any special tactics to, like, prevent this ruby from capturing something. I don't think it's going to take the knight, though, if I just move the queen away. Um... Yeah, so yeah, we just hope that he doesn't take my promoted knight. Oh, but now the knight's pinned. Um, okay. If I just, like, repeatedly check the, uh, the shogun, I might be able to get a perpetual check, and then I think that would eventually result in the king, the, the shogun, falling off the board. Well, we'll see. Um, hmm. Okay, that just gives me a free capture on a ruby. That's something, but that's not enough. Yeah, I mean, I'll just take it, and then hopefully the opponent just gets too distracted by overtime to, like, take my ruby right at the end. All right. I could... What if I just put a bishop here? Well... I'm just gonna repeatedly skip and then hope that the hope that the shogun doesn't decide to desperado on the very last move. All right. Oh. Um. I miscounted. Yeah. So now the. Yeah, now the king escapes check, and yeah, now there's there's like there's basically no way that I escape this round with no deaths. Hmm. I'm gonna lose so many pieces. Oh, this is disgusting. It's gonna be a tragedy. Yeah, I can't place anything to check the opponent. Alright, well, let's do something like this and see if that is good enough. Okay. Now it's just another piece being threatened. That's, that's probably fine. Um, hmm. All right, yeah, just play something there, I guess, and then... Um... Yeah, I kind of need to take this. All right, that's one piece down. All 
All right, maybe the king just moves closer right now. Oh, I, ah, that just... All right, that's two pieces down. Oh, that's a check. Oh, my goodness. Hello, everyone. My Serang here, and I'm going to do a deathless run. Or at least do my very best to do a deathless run. Get as few pieces captured as possible. I'm going to start off by placing a queen. I did reset a few runs um, to uh, get a good bonus objective, because it does not take long to do that. And now what? I don't know. I'll just put him in check. It's, it would be checkmate, but he can block it. So at the beginning of the game, the opponent's deck is very weak. So. Um, should be relatively easy early on. Just repeatedly check the opponent. Eventually, they'll probably make some kind of mistake, and even if they don't, I'm building up energy over the course of many turns. Uh, yeah, he just blocks the check with a... Okay, that's a bronze. Cool. Okay, he did uh, escape the, ch the, the attack on his silver. That's fine. Um... I'm going to attack his silver again, see what happens. Okay, well, I feel like I should move my king closer. I don't know. Yep, check. Again. Okay, now this king is completely trapped. Which, well, I guess not completely trapped anymore, but it's... You know, it makes it that much easier for me to uh, go for overtime strategies. All right. Yeah, and luckily the copper is not attacking my queen. All right. Um. Hmm. I have to be careful about placing pawns because it's going to be—it's not going to be possible for me to like completely defend them. But the pawn is not going to want to take them. You know, I'll just move my knight back, try to make this as safe as possible. And okay, if I can just stall, if I can just stall for many turns, then and and if I can just stall, and then the, the opponent like never makes room for their king, then. Yeah, then we'll we'll be able to we'll be able to win without taking stuff. All right. Um, you know what? Yeah, rook here. Just just guard the fourth rank. Except I can't really do that because you can just attack my pieces and I'll have to move them away. I could try to get a knight onto. Uh, no, let's try to get a knight onto G7. Uh, it's actually going to be a little... It's, this silver is going to be guarding F5, so I don't know. Um, oh, I'm going to go like this way. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the knight's going to go to H5 and then G7. and We're just going to suddenly have a smothered checkmate. Cool. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Yeah, so if the opponent's in check, they're going to try to move out of check. If they're in checkmate, then they might desperado and capture something. Okay, this iron isn't amazing, but it's okay. I think I just removed my pawns. Like, I don't see any super power units here, so I'm just going to remove a pawn. Because pawns are going to be really hard to use. Ah, uh, we got a special unit that costs two for this challenge. But with my king and two rooks, I probably I can probably win this with just my king and two or queen and two rooks. And my king, I guess. Okay, it just has two bishops and two knights, and then some upgraded pawns. Some 
better versions of pawns, whatever. Three plebeians. Alright, just get our queen on the board and then keep our king as safe as we can. Alright, and then we just start checking randomly, I guess? I don't know. When in doubt, give a check, right? When in doubt, either capture something or give a check. And... Yeah, I'll just attack one of the knights. Oh, I need to be careful not to blunder a fork. Okay, we are going to... Oh, I don't want to move my king into the, into the back. Because I just want to not have to deal with overtime. Uh, okay, yeah, just place a rook. I place him on e2 or e3. I guess I place him on e3. Alright. Um... So, let's... Hmm. Alright. Okay, I can just take the plebeian, or I can run away from it. It's kind of weak when it's on my third rank. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed by this, uh... <laughs> by this double attack. Oh, man. Alright, well, this is gonna be, uh... Hmm. This looks like it's gonna be a 20% 20, 20 shield moment. Okay. Yeah, I had to count on the 20% shield and I had to count on the opponent not blocking the check by... You know, with a... with something that's gonna threaten my... King. Okay, well, um... I think, at this point, I just move, I, yeah, capture with the, the brook. Alright. Okay, both of the bishops are on light squares, so if I just keep all my stuff on dark squares, then... Yeah, the opponent will struggle to do anything. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just move closer, I guess. Okay, so the opponent has one pawn, and that's it. Alright, that is not a fork. That is good. Oh, the opponent has one more, uh, one more pawn now. Alright, well, my king is not having a great time right now. But I should be okay. Don't check me. Oh, no. Well, there goes, there goes my deathless run. Um, oh, what am I doing? I could have blocked the check with a with any of these pieces. Although I, he might have just taken any of them. Okay, well, another twenty percent shield moment, I guess. All right, let's try again. Okay. Yep, this is certainly a fork. Um, pretty sure the gold will take my rook if I let him. You know, let's just go for a 25% shield moment. It'll be fine. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Oh, now I just moved my king away. Oh, another fork. Uh... Hmm. Another 25% shield moment? This is embarrassing. Whee! 
<laughs> Better luck next time. Huh. Well, I did kind of blunder this pawn fork. That's... Uh, just have to... Yeah, I mean, we just do this and hope for the best. Okay. Okay, then. I can... And if I just take, then... The, uh... You know, then the pawn just recaptures. Uh, I guess I just hope for a 25% shield moment. Oh, wow, we got it. Uh, well, let's move the king away. And, you know. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Should have, like, put, you know, yeah, I should have put something on, like, D4 to prevent this from happening. Well, um... You know what? Another 25% shield moment. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man, this game's too hard. Alright, first round in five minutes. I can handle that. Um... And just move my king to the third rank. And it yeah, just put stuff down. The sooner I make moves, the quicker I get more energy to play more pieces, even if the moves aren't brilliant moves. Alright, we get a free capture here. Cool. We might even the king might even blunder. No, 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 they didn't blunder their uh, gold, but at least we get the uh, other copper. Well, that's not check anymore, but that's fine. We can checkmate right now. <laughs> you know, let's. Oh, no, we can't. My king's too far back. Okay, fine. Alright, let's we'll just get my queen out of there. Okay, the uh, gold is kind of zoned off from doing anything good. Let's see if we can trap it. Okay. Um. There you got. Okay, just a uh, copper. Cool. All right. If I can get a smothered mate pretty soon. If I can get my knight to e7 while also um, driving the gold away. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing away the gold. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't place a rook to harass the gold right now, but I doubt the yeah I doubt the king was going to take advantage of this of his one chance to uh, avoid getting a smothered mate. All right, get out of here. All right, floor one finished, and we're promoting. Come on, don't promote a pawn, please. Yes. Oh man, that's going to be so strong. Um, yeah, none of these pieces are worth adding. Let's get rid of a pawn. Pawns are a double-edged sword, because, you know, they're hard to protect. But, they're, you know, like, it's hard to prevent the enemy from being able to take a pawn. But at least I can, like, sometimes just protect a pawn and they won't take it. Okay, so this queen is incredibly powerful. Oh, I need to not spam checks on the enemy king, right. Um, okay, well, let's, um, I don't know, just move forward, I guess. Oh, and I have no, no, t no turn pressure, no time pressure. We're fine, I don't need to, you know, I can get out of the mode where I'm just, like, trying to make moves quickly. So those golds are protecting each other. It's fine. Um, 
means I can't take them right now. Well, okay, I need to get some more pieces on the board. I need to block off some uh, some retreat squares in a way where they, where they can't be secured by uh, just by blocking them with another um, by dropping a piece on the board. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, we're gonna park here and then... Okay, that's gotta... There's, there's gotta be something. Oh, yeah, there totally is. Alright. Bye-bye. Yeah, promoted queen, super strong. Alright, now what? We get a special unit. Hopefully it's a cavalier. Cavaliers are just... Thanks. Um, this is kind of a tough choice. Probably it's promote the rook. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to promote the rook. And then probably remove the other pawn. I wonder if the plebeian is actually worse than the pawn. Because if I place a... Like, because... The enemy will probably assign higher target priority to a plebeian than to a pawn. Like, if I just have a pawn on the board, the opponent might never capture it. But if I have a plebeian, the opponent might trade something for it. I don't know. But I'm going to remove the pawn anyway. Alright, move and place on extra tiles. And we have no, no bonus objective, because it's floor 3. Okay. Let's just move up and then try to force the Ronin to one side of the board so that the extra movement squares are not a threat to my king. Movement and attack squares. Um, I, I can't actually like back up this queen and have it take the copper. Um, oh, if I move my queen to e5, that's actually checkmate. Wow. Promoted queens are pretty strong. Okay, well, I don't want to do that then. Let's, uh, I don't know, I'll move my queen here so I can start, um, yeah, so I have some angles of attack from the side. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's just re we're just gonna repeatedly attack the Ronin. Okay. If I take with the Queen, that's still checkmate. But, you know what I can do, is I can take with the Plebeian. Okay. I feel like getting my promoted Rook on the board is pretty pretty solid idea. Okay, now if I just... I kind of want to move the plebeian out of the way. But I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, so this is not... This is not going to be checkmate. Yeah, because he can... I... What? I, I... I think he could have blocked the checkmate on D4... Yeah, you could have blocked the checkmate on d4. Okay, well. I'm glad he didn't desperado his king. So far, so good. Uh, I think diagonal movement is going to be very strong. Okay, do we want to just add a queen to our deck? Yeah, sure. If I get, like, a second promoted queen, that would be incredibly powerful. Alright, what's our bonus objective here? No three costs. Okay, well, I have two queens. So that's cool. And what does he have? Two rooks, two bishops, and two knights, and a bunch of pawns. Okay. Alright. 
I could wait a couple turns and get my get my promoted queen on the board a little faster. Eh. All right. So once both of my queens are on the board, um, then I can probably just bully this king to death. All right, let's just attack the rook. We can't attack the king. I mean, I could just check him on e4, but this is a this is a more meaningful threat, I think. Well, I could check him with a bishop and attack his rook. Um, but if he just places his own bishop. I don't know. We're just going to attack his rook. Okay, well, now... Yeah, now we can just start turning up the aggression. And... Yeah, just look how strong this is. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give him checkmate because it's going to be hard to do that without exposing something to a capture. Okay. Yeah, this is not checkmate. Alright, um... I don't think I have any great checks right now. I might have a decent check, like if I just move my queen down here. We'll just see what happens. And... Okay. That's, you know, that's a check. Alright, good. I'm hoping the, the king blocks himself off more and more. Um, what if I just block the check by putting down a knight? Hmm. And then, of course, take his knight. I, like, is my knight just going to get captured? I feel like my knight would not just get captured. What if I just move instead? Can I afford to just move? I think I can afford to just move. I don't know. A hmm. I'm going to skip and just move. Okay, cool. And now what? Yeah, let's just attack the rook. Just try to push away the rook. I mainly want to push away the knight. And... I don't seem to have a way to, like, fork the rook. Oh, okay. Alright, checkmate. Man, look at how easy this game is. <laughs> it's easy when I get lucky and the opponent makes bad moves. Yep, we're... We're two-thirds of the way done. Power upgrade on... Drumroll. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, Shuffle the reserves. If I can... Like, if my queen... If I promoted queen has two uses, that would be very strong. Take a random card of my deck, cost plus one, and another random card costs minus one. I don't feel like Bard's Gambit's great. Yeah, I feel like Joker's Gambit is going to be good. Okay. Well, I could 
add another queen, but I don't feel like that's going to be particularly useful. I think I want to remove a bishop. If I get a random promotion, if I get the ability to promote a piece, like promoting the knight and promoting the queen are both great. Alright, so I just need to be careful not to get destroyed by a cavalier. That is all. You're yeah, having two promoted, uh, having two promoted queens is going to be nuts. And if I could discount my promoted queen, that might be what I end up doing at the end of the game. I just, you know, put the enemy in check. Okay, keep my king on g2, I guess. It's like, how, how aggressive do I want to play? Eh. Yeah, just, I'm just going to repeatedly put the opponent in check. Oh, <laughs> the Cavalier is on a safe square. Well, I might just ignore the fact that there's a bonus objective. Definitely, so this Cavalier is very valuable, so the opponent's not going to want to trade it easily, but he'll definitely pr trade it for my promoted queen. So i got to be careful about that. Um... I don't know. This is not even like a good square for the queen. The promoted, yeah, promoted rook is fine. Like the, the rook promotion doesn't feel like it adds too much most of the time. But, you know, it helps. Hmm. Everything's defended right now. I don't know how I'm going to get the 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 king out. Oh well. Okay, I drop a I drop a knight, give the opponent check, and then I take the bishop, and then well maybe before I do anything like that, I just move my rook out of danger. Um. Hmm. So, what's my plan? I, if I can take this, if I can get this Cavalier for free, I will do it. Um, even though it will cost me the optional objective. But I don't have a follow-up after I check with the Knight and then the King moves away. Um, I think, hmm, uh, I'm going to see if playing it safe works, I guess. Okay, so he blocks the attack, that's no big deal. Um... Okay, I can give this guy a checkmate just right now if I want to. But, you know, that, that would result in a prop that would likely result in one of my pieces getting taken. Hmm. It's like I want to I want to protect the uh the piece that's going to capture the black bishop, but that's that would just be checkmate. Uh, what if I just double check in with two promoted queens with knight movement, so he can't take either of them? That that seems a little bonkers for me. Hmm. I'm like trying to figure out how I can play it safe, but there doesn't seem to be much of a way to play it safe. This is like, I don't know, this is like a greedy move. Okay, uh, so that's two checks at the same time. Alright, um, yeah, so this puts him in check, which gives me a turn to kind of get out of check without any repercussions. Wait, what, what am I going to... Oh, I only have... 
Okay. I, I have exactly three cards left in my deck. Which means I have guaranteed card draw consistency. So I know I'm going to draw two queens and a plebeian. Even a promoted queen. So where am I going to want my king? What if I actually just move my king to f2? Well, my opponent has... Hmm... Yeah, it's like, what's the safest thing I can do? I'll put my king on f3. So yeah, now the king has to move. The bishop is pinned and can't capture. And... Hmm. That was a weird choice that I made. I should have moved my king to f2, I think. I don't know. Um, thing is, if I just like put my, if I put my queen on, if I take the bishop with my queen and like protect it with something, or actually don't even have to do that, um, then he can block the check by dropping a piece, and then he takes my rook. Um, Alright, I have another thing I can do. I drop a queen, a promoted queen, on g2, and then... Um, and then take his cavalier. But then he blocks the pin, and then takes my... Takes my rook. Hmm. Man, life is hard when you can't just drop a piece to immediately put the king in a check that they can't block by dropping a piece of their own. Hmm. Okay, the, the opponent might not see the move. Okay, this gives me another turn. And yeah, if I just place a queen, another if I just place a promoted queen here, then I can move this other queen. Actually, I don't even have to place anything. I'm not going to place anything yet. I want the ability to just like potentially put the king in check by dropping a piece. Okay. Yeah, I want to just take the cavalier with my knight. That would be an amazing trade. But I, you know, don't want to be doing any trades. I don't think the cavalier would be willing to sack itself to take my knight. So I'm probably fine just chilling for now. It's not attacking anything else. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, tough game. Would his cavalier take my rook if I take his knight? His cavalier is way stronger than even a... Well, it's it's definitely stronger than even a promoted rook. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it would take a promoted queen, but not a promoted rook. Don't, don't do it. Don't you dare. Okay. Um. Oh, well, now it's forking me, so. I mean. This could be a 5% shield moment. Um. Yeah, because I can't. 
yeah, there's there's just no chance that I can prevent him from taking something. Uh, what? Why would I even have a five percent shield moment? If he doesn't take my king, I'll just take my queen instead. Okay. Um. Yeah. It, so any way I can manipulate the AI to not recapture here. I'm not seeing it. I guess my only hope is that the Cavalier doesn't want to take my promoted queen, but that would be extremely silly. That's my only hope. And if he does take it, then I, I think it's like, you know, I lose one piece and that's fine. Okay. So, well, the opponent's out of any meaningful threats at this point. I really have not placed a lot of pieces this game. That, that'll work to my advantage during overtime. Although, is this really going to go to, to, like, many rounds of overtime? Probably not. It'll it'll go to overtime, but not like. You know, we're not gonna lose the entire board because eventually I'll be able to get my queen in there and and you know it's promoted. It's very powerful. It'll be able to it'll be able to do a lot of work. I didn't really need to take that pawn, but I took it anyway. Okay. Yeah, now what? This feels like it should be really good for me. But I don't know what to do. Well. Yeah, I guess I'm going to skip and... Well, my guess is that the king will want to move to e5. Um, yeah, this is not checkmate. The king can move up. Yeah, the king moves diagonally up. And... Yeah, now... Oh, the king's out of pieces. Okay. There's... there's... Okay, there's... I should have something soon. I'm going to move my knight out of the way, and then I think the queen and rook will just be able to... will be able to just call it around. Alright, let's just put another queen on the board for good measure. Even though this is definitely checkmate. Alright. Alright, let's get a... bronze. Oh, that's... Unfortunate. I could recruit a cavalier. Do I want a cavalier? Who's the... Who's the boss? Shoot. Um, I think it's the Baron. Well, if it's Legion... I, I, we already fought the Ronin, I think. Where's that last Ronin? I think we already fought the Ronin. Yeah, yeah, we definitely fought, already fought the Ronin. So it's either the Baron or the Legion. If it's Legion, then it's free. So, against the Baron... Hmm... Yeah, because I have two queen. Yeah, because I have two reserves on this queen. Yeah, let's just promote and yeah, let's get this. Let's get this bronze out of here. Goodbye, bronze. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought it was. No elite units. Although diamond prince. Okay, so this this guy has a lot of big threats. All right. Um. Cool. All right. I'll. If I get a. If I get a pawn. Yeah. If I get my plebeian, then might lock the check with it. 
but I don't see a whole lot of point in doing that. I'll just, you know, just move out of check. The more checks, or the more pieces that are just randomly under attack, the more something can go wrong if I forget about it later. Alright, next turn I can place another promoted queen. Alright, now this bronze is under attack. Okay, well now this pawn is under attack if you... okay. Uh, it's a shame that... <laughs> it's a shame that C4 got locked down. Oh well. Um... But... Wait a second. Okay, queen on B2, then I capture on D4. And we're, we're fine. But then the king moves and I have a bishop attacking two, bit, two queens. And that could be a serious problem. Oh, wait, no, the, bron the copper is protecting... Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't go for that capture. I would have felt so dumb. Um, let's see... Yeah, just the more pieces that I put in the line of fire, the worse, the the more danger I put myself in. And okay. Uh, well, this is free, so I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, the princess. Um. Yeah, the princess can't move directly forward or backwards, so this is safe. Yeah, and this seems just like an incredibly strong check, especially since the opponent wasn't able to place, or either wasn't able or forgot that he could... Whatever. He didn't place anything to stop me from taking that. Okay. Alright, this should be good. And then, I'll take with this queen. I don't know if it matters. I really don't think it's going to matter. I want to checkmate him with, well, I mean, I, I got to use my, like, knight, my knight movement on my queen to give checkmate. Um... I mean, if the opponent just... If I can just repeatedly capture stuff, then it doesn't matter. Okay. Well. Man. This final boss really made a poor showing. Alright, so that's one... One unit lost during the entire run. Rest in peace, uh whatever that unit was. I think it was a promoted queen. Oh, good job, team. I'm happy with that. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I might try to beat that record.